Hi, I'm Jody Wombeck with Wilmer Community Education and Wilmer Early Childhood Family Programs. I am excited to be here today. I have a very special guest. Abby Zilstra is joining me, and Abby is our new parent educator for Early Childhood Family Programs. Welcome, Abby. Tell us a little Thank bit about you. yourself. Um, my name is Abby Zilstra. Um, I grew up in the area. Um, I went to MSUM for my undergrad and just finished up my master's in early childhood education. Um, I also taught previously kindergarten and preschool um, for six years, so this is my seventh year. Um, and excited to kind of be in a different realm of education, working with parents and families and young learners. So I'm excited. Great. So people sometimes wonder, what is parent education? Well, it's really nice because it gives you a chance to kind of talk with other parents who might be going through the same things um, or struggles as you and just to kind of connect with others, um, with young children. Uh, we love doing parent ed because we get to have the children with us, but also some parent time too to kind of connect with others who might be having the same issues as you or um, celebrations as you. So um, it's a fun component of early childhood. And as a parent yourself, um, kids don't come with instruction manuals. No, they do not. And sometimes <laughs> you might need just a little additional support or possible yes. strategies. And that's what's nice yes. for parent education and ECFE is that that's where parents can get support. Yes, and it's nice because you you may not know that many others are, are facing the same mm -hmm. challenges. Um, as well as exciting things that are happening, it gives you um, a support system beyond your own family and friends, so. Great. Abby, tell us a little bit about some of the classes that ECFE has coming up in October. Yeah, we actually have two um, um, that are we wanted to highlight, and we have a STEAM class, which is science, technology, um, art, and... Music. Music, thank you. <laughs> and we will um, be allowing the young children to kind of do some fun things with science, art, music, other things that they may not typically do um, at home or uh, with others. So that's a fun class we have coming up as well as our music makers class where we'll do some fun songs, dance. We actually have a special guest, Libby Anderson, who helps us out teaching that and does a really good job. She has a good music background. Um, and those are coming up here in October. One thing that I think is so nice about ECFE is um, we set it up so the kids can be messy and, and do stuff. And we clean it up, so yes, that's nice. exactly. <laughs> so it's nice that parents can bring their kids to ECFE at Jefferson, and then, yeah, we clean up the mess. You don't have to deal with that. Yes, that's a big perk of it. Um, we also have two free programs that we do through ECFE. One is a parent partner um, connection, so I either meet with you via Zoom or home visit, or we can utilize um, Jefferson, but I use um, incredible years as well as conscious discipline curriculum and I can kind of help you with any questions or concerns you might have, um, any developmental concerns you may have and just kind of guide you through some of that, um, those unknowns as a young parent or um, grandparents, mm -hmm. any sort of family things that you might be struggling with. Um, we also have a free class offered on Tuesdays from 11 to 12.30, and we partner with Public Health for that. Um, it's called Baby Talk, and that is um, with babies and moms or dads. You can come and socialize, meet other young babies, give your babies a chance to socialize. We always have a topic that we touch on, but also is a good chance to ask questions or address any concerns you may have. Your babies can socialize. We have a lot of fun uh, play things for them to do. So um, those are two free uh, programs that we offer through CF ECFE at Jefferson. And Baby Talk, the public health nurse is there as well, so you can weigh the baby yes. and if there's any medical questions or health-related yes. questions, yep. right? Yep, and she's also a lactation consultant, mm. so okay. um, if you're struggling with nursing or feeding your baby, she has some good helpful tips and hints to um, kind of show you and allow you to maybe have a better experience with that. So it's a super great resource to have. Um, yeah, I, I know that I utilized that a lot as a new mom, so... And then also we were able to 
um, continue our story time at the library, right? Yes, and that's been meeting. Um, there's actually a, a one for older preschool children on Tuesdays. Um, and then Wednesdays, I actually go with Alyssa, um, who's the children's librarian, and we do kind of a little circle time with songs and um, stories and we have some playtime and and that's a good place to meet other families in the area as well and that's every Wednesday at 10 o'clock at the library here in town. Great and then something really exciting that we have coming up again it's come back after a year of hiatus, being on hiatus on Tuesday October 5th it's family night at the fire station it is our 15th annual and we are super excited about that yes and it's, it's from 5 to 7 mm -hmm. there's all different kinds of activities there's a free meal which is taco in a bag there's helicopter tours there'll be a story time with firefighters um, one of the children's favorite activities is the spraying of the water hose that the firemen use um, and lots of different things for families mm -hmm. to be involved in there so that's a great event coming up that is, and there's also resource tables. So we'll have community um, partners there too that will have information for families as well. So we're super excited that we're able to be back and to see our families out and about. We're super excited about that. Yes, and we so. made some really fun gift bags. So you'll oh, get to get one of those if you visit our table. That's so right. That's exciting. <laughs> that is right. Um, so with Community Ed, I don't know. We don't send these out in the mail like we used to anymore. A lot of our information is now online and we have limited amount of these. So everything that Abby has talked about is online in the brochure. And if you happen to be fortunate enough to actually get your hands on a real one, you can look in there. And a couple other classes that I wanted to talk about that Community Ed is offering. It's first our off-road biking and our single track bike skills. So if you're someone who would like to try out mountain biking or new to biking and want more information and maybe instruction on how to do it, on Saturday, October 9th, out at Prairie Woods Environmental Learning Center, they are going to have a mountain bike expert out there and that will help you develop new skills and tips and stuff that um, you may have. So we encourage you to sign up for that and if you bring your own bike and helmet, it's $10, but they also have bikes to rent. So if you are interested in learning more about mountain biking, trying out the new mountain biking trails out at Prairie Woods Environmental Learning Center, go ahead and get signed up for that. That is super exciting. Um, and I know Pam, who is our community ed enrichment gal, she does this quite a bit and she really loves, loves that. Yeah, it sounds like a fun thing to do. Yeah, and then Mike Lynch, I do believe, yes, is the Minnesota Star Watch. So that is also coming. And to watch the stars and look at some of that stuff, that's always a, a fun event. And that will be held Friday, October 22nd. And that's also at Prairie Woods Environmental Learning Center. So we encourage you to sign up for that one as well. That's always a hit. And I know that um, we have him come out every year. So it's pretty exciting that he's back with us as well. A couple other classes that I wanted to highlight is our stained glass for beginners, and that is toward the end of October, so check that out online, as well as cookie art. Who doesn't like a good cookie? I like cookies. <laughs> yes, always. <laughs> um, so Stacy Hilwarda is helping decorate cookies, and this is for kids ages 10 and up, so this children and adults. All the classes that I just highlighted are for children. Um, the biking, 12 and up, the cookies, 10 and up, the stargazing, that'd be a great event for the family. So Abby, I just want to say welcome back to Wilmer Early Childhood. Thank you, We're super I'm happy excited to, to be here. here. It's been a great few weeks, um, kind of learning the ropes and meeting lots of families and mm -hmm. um, connecting in the community. So I'm looking forward to it. It'll be a fun position to be in. Great. And if you want more information on any of the things that we have talked about, go ahead and check us out on Facebook. Our Community Ed Facebook page, just Google Wilmer Community Education or if you want to check out our Early Childhood Facebook page, which has lots of videos and other information on there, check out Wilmer Early Childhood Family Programs. It's great to be back. Have a good day.